All right, so I'm going to showcase the uh, challenge system, which is right now it's going to be in the chat, uh, but we'll get it into a button system where you can press escape and do that. So right now, if I do a chow um, R5 MCOS, it's going to say that I'm not initialized yet. Uh, that's just because we want to wait for the stats to sink in. That way your like preferences and all your settings are applied before you just start challenging people that might have it disabled. So I, um, if I chow again now that we're initialized, uh, it's going to say couldn't add, uh, couldn't challenge R5 MCOS because it's disabled. Um, the only reason I can even challenge myself is because I have it uh, allowed to challenge yourself for just demonstration purposes. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and enable that. I'm going to do chow R5 MCOS again. Alright, so now we can see that I have a request uh, to uh, 1v1 somebody that came in. So I can uh, I can do lists. I can do a couple things here. And we can see that uh, I have a list of challenges here. I only have one right now. Uh, nine seconds ago, R5 MCOS challenged me. What a guy. So I could also uh, I could just clear that whole list. And that clears everything right there. So we look at list again with the list commands and we see there's no challenges right so i'm gonna go ahead and pretend that somebody uh is challenging me and so it comes in um and i can see my list again here that i have uh, r5 mcos it's got anyone on there um you can also go like the status and say you don't know you can't get the guy's name here you can uh, grab it from here and we could we could even remove by either the name so i could type remove r5 mcos or i can remove by the name and it's going to remove the player, so remove R5 MCOS for that for that player right there. So I look at my list again, and that player is gone. Uh, just in case you wanted to like remove specific players or something, because you can only have so many, I think like 12 or so challenges at once. So you can always clear and do that again. Um, and so let's go ahead and do that again. Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to have my other account come in here. Add a bot called Man, put him on Team 7. Uh, so my bot, my uh, other account's loading up on my other computer. Uh, I'm gonna go over here. And actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, from my other account, I'm going to challenge myself. So we'll see here. Um, so we have a new request from uh, not Imcos, right? So now we can see, like, oh, I have challenges. Okay, so I have not MCOS that challenge me. So what I can do is I can accept that challenge by hitting accept and I can type not MCOS or I can just click accept. What that's going to do is that's going to accept the most recent one. So now it's accepted, right? So I'm going to go ahead and join the queue, this bot, right? I'm not going to get put in a match with this bot. In fact, let's, uh, let's put a lot of bots in here. Let's have them all queue up, right? I'm in the queue, you know, I'm ready to match. But the thing is, I accepted a challenge. So I don't I don't get matched with any of them. Now, if we look right here at my other account and I come out of rest, it's gonna start the uh, challenge between the both of us because we're in a challenge. And we're gonna stay in a challenge uh, until I don't feel like uh, playing anymore, until he quits or until I quit. Till I go to rest, till he goes to rest, or even better, if you don't want to go to rest at all, you just you're tired of this guy. <laughs> when you're ready to quit fighting this guy, you want to fight the next guy or whatever, we can just uh, type in end real quick, right? And that's just going to switch you to out of the uh, the lock one v one. Now I'm fighting uh, man. Uh, looks like I'm fighting impos uh, impos again, but it's not in a locked fight. So anytime I could get, I think they got locked. Yeah, so man and not impos got locked. So that's how that works.